Greetings. This is the Baron. And today, Lady Melody challenged me to a Throne of Eldraine sealed by the box EDH battle. Let's see how it goes. Alright. So, today, Lady Melody challenged me to a uh, sealed box sort of EDH thing. So, one for me, one for her. We're going to do the best we can with our boxes. So, I'm going to start off with me here. Let's see what we got. It's kind of like a, a box opening video, plus a uh, draft or sealed pH. It's pretty excited. Alright, we are right. I like what he does with three piles here, right? Let's see what we got. Right. Uh, Linden, the Steadfast Queen. Well, that's not really helpful for anybody. I mean, especially in whatever EDH I make out of here, it's probably going to be more one color, so that three solid mana is not going to work out too well for me. Uh, Dance of the Mance, not too excited about that. I am excited about this, Keeper of Fables, though. I can pull a couple of those. I mean, I can put something, you know, decent together. Oh, no. EDH. Only one one of each thing. Okay. This is going to be rough. This is going to be rough. Uh, the Great Henge. That's cool. That's a great mythic. Um, that'll come in handy. It's not too mana intensive to two. Ooh. Uh, foil Showcase. Smitten Swordmaster. It's kind of cool. It's still common, though. It's cool here. And uh, Wild Born Preserver. Nice. Okay. Keep it going. Um, ooh, Showcase Murderous Rider. That's going to be helpful. Uh, that is just a rare. Okay. I haven't op opened up any packs in quite a while. I don't think it's been... Jeez. It's like... When was my first last max? Alright, Castle Vantress. Might come in handy. Some scrying, especially gonna be like three or four colors. I think it was like original Zendikar. It was the last time I opened a pack of magic cards. Uh Mirror Maid, okay. Got a Sir Conrad. That might come in handy. All that glitters. What a strong card. How's that card even real? Uh blows my mind, the power level things nowadays. Uh, Old Sworn Knight. Alright. So far, not too good on Mythics, actually, right? We only got one. One Mythic, the Great Henge. I'm gonna pull them aside just to keep track of those things. Hmm. Well, these boxes are always better than this. Uh, Acclaimed Contender. Okay. Ooh, Cold and Familiar. That's nice. I'm definitely gonna run the um, the oven if I can pull one, which I'm sure I will. The whole box, you know. Worthy knight, that's great. We got another knight here, so I'll need a okay. Beanstalk giant, hypnotic sprite, piece of cards. Again, there is kind of man intensive, you know, for multiple colors. But maybe I can narrow it down. Maybe I can run two colors. Foil uh, dwarves here. Oh, that's nice. Brazen borrower, second mythic. Finally decided to show up. This puppet, joust, mantle, tides. Eh. We're not gonna know what we're doing until it's done, right? Castle Garenberg, Berg, Brig. Well. Alright. Covetous Urge. Huh. Again, if it's two colors, sure, I can run those cards. If I get the. I don't know, does, that, does that color combination have a knight, or is that a replacement for the knight? Bone Crusher Giant. This can played all the time in Arena. Does some work. All right, so that's stack one on a stack two. Two mythics, okay. If I get two minutes per stack, I'll be happy. Uh, stolen by the Fae, nothing wrong with that. On um, we go, Sir Kyra the Bold. That's nice. Ooh. Oh, I gotta pick a, a commander too, don't I? I guess we'll figure out the rules for that because how how we even do that? Fantress Gargoyle. Maybe whatever we pick just counts as all five colors. Just pick any commander, any legendary. That's how uh, I've seen it done before. 
Let me get some pile of commas there. That way you can just run anything and run anyone. All right, foil jousting dummy. Hey, fires of invention. That's nice. What a strong card, by the way. I got that deck on uh, on my arena. I just called it crazy person. Just I didn't know what I was doing. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna try this out. And wow, strong and AC everywhere. Ooh, field passage. That's nice. Wanted to pick some of those up, so that saved me uh, paying for one. I guess it paid for either way, really, but this is fine. This is just fine. Night, land. Ooh, Clacker's Troll. Love them. Absolutely love them. I think I actually picked up uh, eight of them from cards in the already. Just because uh, I see myself using them, like, everywhere. It's good no matter what. Hey, Foil Mythic. Great Henge. I'm all about that. Uh, rare. Doom Foretold. Nice. Nice stuff. I like that one. That's a winner. I don't know the price of any of this stuff, but if I had to guess, I guess I'm going to put my money in that guy. Uh, land. Foil Land. I thought these lands were supposed to be cool. Oh, no, that's Nyx. That's Nyx. Lockmire Serpent. Alright. This one's cool. The green white one. Uh, a little boost comes in handy, right? Land, uh, Feasting Troll King. Jeez. Probable Alliance. I've got no idea what direction to go with this. I'm gonna have to look up the legendaries and just, You know, hopefully I pull, um... Oh no, that's not this city, that's Nyx also. Let's see about the Titans. Uh, okay. Uh, Showcase Giant Killer. Good card. Very good card. If we do, like I said, we pick anything and it's all five colors. Oh, Michael is Surkaya. Uh... She lets me play stuff in the top of the library, so that's pretty cool. Uh, foil chain or something. Ooh, which pull talisman? That card, um... I mean, when you read the first time, I'm like, oh, that's terrible. Why would I why would I do that? But, I mean, it's amazing. You run it in any combat deck, who cares what your opponent gets? You get the card you need, you win. Escape to the wilds, alright. On we go. What is Exile Falls going to do? Exile top five cards of the library you make. Play Exile cards play to the turn. You can finish the latest one. Okay, that's pretty cool. Giant Killer again. Okay. Wow, this is going to be rough. It's going to be real rough. Okay, we've got a foil, um, Curious Pair showcase. And the rare is a, a Mythic, the Cold of Eternity, which I think is by far the worst one of those crazy mana things. What I wouldn't mind is the blue one, the, the mirror, near mirror on the wall. Which, is there no one to like, switch for copyright infringement? Uh, Stone Pearl Serpent? I mean, I don't know the rules or laws of any of it. Like, I guess they're just barely getting by with what they pulled in this set. You know, or it's like Grimm's Fairy Tales, like just, it's not one by one, it's just out there for anyone to use. Uh, Spork of Spider, um, Common Foil. And this guy, ooh, that'll become useful. I'll run that. Puts me in the white. Those little buddy body tokens. Uh, little ones. You know, people don't get that enough credit. In my, especially a sealed event. When you're fighting for board presence. Any little guy helps. Even if he's blocking something, you know, return. Uh, Iron Crag Feet. At 7 red, your mana pool. For 4 red. Well, 3 red across. Pretty cool, actually. Sorcery. Wow, uh, these red rituals, man. Keep getting, keep pumping them out. Glass casket foil and midnight clock. Huh. All right, on we go. Where are we at? Four mythics, one of them's a foil. All right, I'm feeling a little short right now. Getting to the end of this pile. Oh, there's one, Atlas Merriment, and that's what I'm gonna try to run too. Because like I said, bodies on the board. You know, that's what it's about. Keep them coming. Give me uh, two more. Do I still get a foil rare, or is my mythic at? Another foil. Murderous Rider. That's cool. Um, one, two, three. Boom, boom. Foil. Wicked Wolf. Okay. Almost done here. Ooh, Ember Cleave. Happy to see that one. Real happy. My like going too high up on my stuff here. Right. Get back over here. Alright, Ember Cleave. Nice. Nice, nice. Two to go. 
I'm getting there. I'm doing good here. Alright, six mythics. Can't complain about that. Two packs left. What are we gonna get? Which is Vengeance. Alright. And last pack. Furrent Champion. Alright. I'm gonna get this all organized, put something together. I'm not sure if I'm recording yet or not, or uh, just skip right ahead. But, uh, alright, let's see what we, ha what we can make happen here. Alright, so this is my turn. I haven't gotten to open a sealed box in a while. I'm pretty excited. I I didn't just cut all the packs open. Oh, that one, obviously. This will be the first one I open. Alright, what do I got here? Warrior Cow, Farzin, Thorns, Sageful Appetite, First Artifact I'm pretty excited about. Chief, Golden Egg, I've heard a lot about those. I don't know a whole lot about this set, I just know I was really excited when I saw the preview. I've got Shambling Suit, Flame, First Born, Sir Elin, Lion's Claw, my first Legendary, pretty excited about that. Got forest, and my rare is Oath Swan Knight. Pretty excited about that. Okay, Maze Wolf Tides, Raging Red Cap, Lonesome Unicorn. Pretty excited to see how these things work. Uh, Princeton Trebuchet, another Golden Egg, Tall as a Beanstalk. Uh, Sorcerer's Broom. Oh, how cool. Exciting. Oh, look at the art on that hypnotic sprite. Into the story. Uh, Abled Passage. I'm actually kind of excited to read what that does. And a swamp. And a food token. Pretty excited about that. Ooh, sliced it pretty close there. Should not be allowed to have any sort of sharp objects, obviously. I've got Witching Well, Seven Dwarves, Fairy Guide Mother. Oh, Roving Keep. Look how cool that looks. Alright. Alright, here we go. Deafening Silence. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, multicolored. Very sweet looking card there. Okay, we got Sundering Stroke as my rare for this pack. And a Dwarf Token. How exciting is that? Alright. Alright, Griffins, Mantle of Tides, Red Cap, Spider. These are starting to look familiar. Curious Pair. Okay. Jousting Dummy. Ogres. <laughs> Okay, here we go, we got Bog Naughty. How funny is that? Another transformation. Which is Vengeance is the rare and I got a foil. Have Ardenvale Paladin. Like a beautiful art. Um, Island. Okay, what do we got now? Oh, this is my first red one. Rimrock Knight. Pretty excited about that. True Love's Kiss, Wishing Well. Pretty exciting. Crashing Drawbridge. Ginger Brute! So excited. He was in the uh, he was in the commercial, the trailer. Uh, Witch's Cottage for a fancy land. Pretty excited about that. Um, oh, I got another legendary creature. Pretty excited. Uh, this one is Sir Kara the Bold. Pretty excited about that. Gives me another option as a commander. Uh, Venerable Knight. Uh, Bog Naughty. Um, and then for the rare folio of fancies. Oh, what a cool artifact. No maximum hand size. Plus some extra stuff. Look at this human token. Very pretty art. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, got some lonesome unicorns, dwarves, swordmaster, crashing drawbridge, beanstalk, weapon rack, oh look at the beloved princess, so pretty. I got another Sir Kara. Ooh, Rampart Smasher, look at that giant. Frosty of the Wilds, Escape to the Wilds is my rare. Pretty exciting. Sorceries, and a rat token. Escape to the Wilds, exile the top five cards of your library. You may play cards exile this way until the end of your next turn, and you get to play an additional land. Hmm. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, Merchant of the Veil, Giant Skewer, Cupid Spear, Golden Egg. Look at this, Idyllic Garage. Oh, sorry, Idyllic Grange. Um, we got a Giant Knight, Eye Collector, Skull and Cauldron, and here we go, Foul, Foul, Foulmire Knight. Wow, freaking beautiful, these full, these full page art. So pretty. Deathless Knight, Fairy Vandal, and the rare Op Opportunistic Dragon. Really pretty. Very exciting. Oh, and look at this on an adventure token. So pretty. Okay, 
Okay, I got another Queen of Ice. Ooh, Crystal Slipper. Slipper from Squire. Tools Pyro. Legion. Very exciting stuff. Shepherd of the Flock. Turn into a pumpkin. <laughs> um, oh, and look at this. My rare Ari Ayara, first of the Lock Flame. That's pretty cool looking. Another legendary. <laughs> Alright, I got a lot of options then. Oh, Noble. Three solid black to cast. That's pretty exciting. Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna start flipping through a little bit faster because I know I'm a little too slow. Um, not very cool. Oh, completely skipped the uncommons. Here we go. My rare Black Lance Paragon. How oh, cool. I heard all the knights in this set are really good. Oh, I got a foil land in the forest and another honor defensive token. Okay, I got Mr. Turtle. Very cool, so tiny. Oh, look at that. Ooh, look at this. How pretty. Cut this urge. Epic downfall. Look at the size of that. Lock dragon. So pretty. And for the rare, I got Fae of Wishes. Really pretty. And a foil tournament grounds. And a fairy token. Sorry, I'm trying to open these further from the mic so that it's not killing us all with the crinkle sound. Got a dwarven mine. Shambling suit. Sir Eleonora the Discerning. How exciting! <laughs> I almost have too many options for my commander now. Stolen by the Fae is my uh, wear. Alright. Moving right along with that shining armor. Mine. More human knights, another ginger brute. Locked in the tower. I got Shepherd of the Flock again, Keeper of Fables, and Burning Yard Trainer. Pretty cool. And the rare is Fervent Champion. Oops. Alright, Thrill of Possibility, Bartered Cow. So cool how they pulled from so many different um, fairy tales for this set. I really love it. Claim the Firstborn. Oh, cool. Okay, Ranger. Really pretty. Cauldron Familiar. And the rare, Feasting Troll King. So cool looking. I can't wait to read. Alright, so I've been informed that I need to only show the rares just to speed things along. So, uh, just skipping right along. Um, rare here is Emery Lurker of the Lock. Really pretty, another legendary creature. And I have a foil Queen of Ice, which is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, next up, I have. Piper of the Swarm, pretty freaking exciting, and a Foil Lost Legion, gorgeous, gorgeous art. Okay, so many cool looking cards in here. Alright, got Wintermore Commander, oh, Sir Conrad the Grim, pretty exciting, oops. And rare, Fires of Invention, really beautiful. Next up. See. There we go. Spinning wheel. Oh, look at this. Grum Gully the Generous. Goblin Shaman. Another legendary. Oh gosh. Oh, and super rare, mega rare, legendary creature beast, questing beast. So cool. Very exciting. Okay. I feel like I've seen Fling in so many sets since I started, and I haven't really been playing all that long. Another Sir Arwen, and this rare is Castle Garenbrig. So that'll be a fun fancy land. Oh, let's put it in my rare pile, I guess. Okay. Wow. I really enjoy playing Magic, and I really enjoy how Every time you play, it's a slightly different experience because there's so many different cards. There's so many different ways that cards interact with each other. This rare is the Bone Crusher Giant. So cool. That's uh, one of the reasons I was really happy to get into Magic, even though I got in pretty late in my life here. But I really enjoy how fluid and flexible and 
really quite magical, this game is. This rare is Rankle, Master of Pranks. Very rogue, it's a, it's a mega rare. Really beautiful. Another legendary creature. I really have quite the pick for my EDH deck here. My draft EDH deck. It's gonna have a lot of options, commander-wise. Almost too many options. Um, which, you know, too blessed, I guess. Flax and Intruder, how pretty. <laughs> Again, just, oh, Torbrand, Thane of Red Fell, look at this, the rare, how cool. Such a cool set, I really love the idea, and I'm just so excited to see how the cards interact with each other. Oh, the beans, oh, and the rare, Sorcerer's Spyglass, and a Foil Rampart Smasher. Murderous Rider. Oh, so cool. What a great rare. Well, I don't know if it's any good, but it's good looking. So, half the battle, I suppose. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this. Oko, Thief of Crowns. Oh, what a cool rarity guy. Missed it. Okay. Man. Legendary creature pile is getting a little excessively large. I love how I've opened so many of these packs already and I'm still seeing new cards I haven't seen before. I love that. I love that there's so much variety. Oh, here we go. Yorvo, Lord of Garenbrig, a legendary creature giant noble. Oh man, and a foil. We got Alp Muscle. Oh my gosh, look at that wrestling bear. <laughs> oh man. I can't wait to see what the new set's, um, you know, rules are. I know how a lot of the newer sets have come up with new things. This one obviously has something called Adamant, which I'm pretty excited to see how that interacts. Um, the rare on this one is Hushbringer. Really pretty art, gosh. So I'm pretty excited to see what all there is and how it, you know, works or doesn't work, as the case sometimes is. Still exciting. We've got Codus Urge, Beanstalk, and Gilded Goose. <laughs> cool. It's really putting an edge on all the childhood fantasies and, you know, childhood stories. Sort of weaponizing them in a way. Oh, look at this. Witch's Oven. Our rare is Murderous Rider. Alright, next up, we're getting close, hopefully. I don't want to give the Baron too much of an edge on his deck building. I want to get through this as fast as I can so I have a fair shot. Castle Umbereth is our foil to land. Oh, not winning any awards for my pack opening skills, that's for sure. Let's see what we got. Okay. It doesn't even matter how many packs I open, I always miss the uncommons. Alright, Worthy Knight is our rare. We've got a foil, um, Blood Haze Wolverine. Really pretty. I'm excited to see how a, an EDH deck from all one set will work, if it will. We don't really know. But if it will, will work with the limited card pool, Fabro Elder, and just how it will work. You know, if there's too much limitation with only one set, if it works really well, because they were all sort of designed in the same mentality, they were sort of all designed to work together, if it will actually be like an advantage that they're all from the same set, or maybe it's a disadvantage. I've got Sky Eleanor the Discerning again, and the rare Dance of the Mance. <laughs> So it'll be interesting to see. I'm hoping he got a couple of rares to a couple of legendary creatures to really make it work with them. 
his effort to see how well he does before he was given. And another uh, foil land, a uh, rare land, um, Castle Ventress. Ruby, at least foil land. We've been on such a big old school kick that it's actually really, really interesting to look at newer cards again and see just what all they're coming out with. And, oh, look at this. Circle of Loyalty as an uber rare legendary artifact. Beautiful. And a foil spinning wheel. So pretty. It's just so interesting. I never thought I would know magic well enough to say that the cards themselves feel different than they used to. I feel like I've been handling the older cards so much more. You can tell they've just been played. You know, they've got that feeling about them. There's like almost a thicker cardboard, it would feel like. All right, another rare land, Castle Walkman. I think that's my second one. And I have a um, foil, Moonlit Scavengers. Really beautiful. They put it on the, uh, they put the foiling on the mist. So gorgeous. And this is the last pack. Okay. Give us one gander. Alright, here we go. Sorcerer's Spyglass is my rare, and I've got a foil, Twinville, Tree Folk. It's really pretty. Alright, and that's it for my box. Now let's make a deck. Okay, our decks are made, and we are only doing a one of one here. I call evens, we rolled an odd, so. Uh, Lady Melody will be going first. Let's reveal our commanders. All right, I am playing Grumgully the Generous. Whenever I play a non-human, it gets plus minus one. And she's playing Rankle Master of Pranks. And you can pause it if you want to read that text. It does a lot of stuff. Here's my hand. Uh, it's not too good, not too bad. And there's her hand. Uh, she's actually going to mulligan here, doing a London. So she's going to draw another seven and pitch one. I'm checking out Rankle now because, man, he can be brutal. If she has any kind of token generation in there, uh, I could just say goodbye to all my land monsters because I'm not running many flyers. I got a couple guys at reach, I think. Uh, that's really my best hope for having any chance of dealing with Rankle. Um, I got a little on the adventure zone in the middle there, above my commander. I'm glad uh, my life is here. I was worried that it wasn't in uh, early frames. All right, it looked like her hand was pretty terrible, actually. Uh, I'll be a one-land hand. Uh, is she keeping it? Let's find out. Yeah, she's keeping it. She's pitching the one. And uh, we're getting started here. Planes and pass on to me. Forest pass back to her. Nice and slow. <laughs> you know, we made these decks out of one box each. Is they're not that fine-tuned. Um, I was trying to jump the gun. I noticed my cool wolf elf dude had flash, flashing at the end of her turn. Whenever I play a non-human, I can pay X, and he will get plus X plus X counters. That is a 2-2 two -two reach flash. Uh, building up some mana here, and passing, no, coming in obviously, uh, and then passing turn. So it's 38 to 40. She hits her first swamp. She's got a, she's in two colors now. I'm in two of three. Uh, I've got black in his deck also. Remember, we are playing our commanders if they were all colors. Wooberg commanders. Um, with their own casting cost, of course. Uh, just to make this whole thing even possible. You know. Um, okay, she's playing that uh, weird rat dude. He makes rats and he can sack three rats to take control of a creature. So, I'm already worried. If she can, you know, I can't cast my Grumgully. My, I got the coolest card in my deck out already, so, <laughs> you know, I'm at her mercy. She gets another black, and she's got complete control of the board. She just pump rats out, come out rankle, and sack rats while I'm sacking real things that matter. Uh, I'm getting brave though. I cast Grum Gully. I pay the extra one to give my rider plus one plus one, and come in for three, bringing her down to 35. I uh, pass turn after that and tapped out. <clears throat> and let's see what Lee Melody's doing. I think she's pretty stuck being, uh, I think she's out of color also right now. 
and the one black is probably hurting her as well. Passes back to me. Uh, and I got a whole hand of black cards. I think I'll show you later on uh, what a brutal start this is for me. But I got, I got a clear opening to come in for six here. Uh, and she's chomping with him and uh, giving him death touch. And if she had another black, she could have pumped out a rat on the way, but it didn't happen. I'm doing the extra two damage to that rat guy just to finish him off. So that was brutal. Uh, more brutal for her than me because that rat guy, he that's all she needs is him and Rankle and combo time knocking right out of the game. So I had to use uh, that giant's uh, shock ability to just make sure he's off the field. Okay, I think that's the Eye Blight, or Eye Fetcher, Fairy, whatever it is. Uh, it's a 1-1 one, one or 2-1 flying. Uh, whenever it hits me, I need to mill 1. And uh, I come in for 3, still looks safe. And I connect. So she's down to, what is that, 29 and the 6th Commander now. I'm still waiting for some black mana. I, I'm sure she is too. Uh, comes in for at least one. Yeah, it's a one-one. Okay. And I mill. Uh, I forgot the name of that card. Is it's like it's like an expensive lightning bolt. And I'm sorry the camera's a little shaky here. Uh, you wouldn't believe the wacky setup I do just to make this whole thing possible. You know, I don't have any fancy equipment. I've got like an ironing board with a, a pan on top of it. Uh, taped down with uh, my phone with his magnetic back stuck to the pan to get this shot. Uh, if you guys have content yourself, your content creators, let me know what you do for these things. I mean, is there equipment out there? Is this something I could find out just on two minutes on Amazon? I don't know. Help me out. Uh, I play the uh, Gingerbread Cottage, whatever the hell it is. Uh, I have to play it tapped because uh, I don't have the three forests out. Which kind of bums me out. My whole deck is actually, I mean, you wouldn't know by what you see, but it's about food. And I'll show you my hand. You can pause that if you want to really see what's in there. Um, it's all black. <laughs> it's black and green spells I can't cast. So, uh, I'm struggling. I am struggling. Uh, one mana drains the life from me with a familiar. Man, that cat is so strong. Uh, I'm also running that cat as well as the oven in here. Uh, I mill out a uh, mountain. Glad I was in a swamp. I'd be crying. Uh, my giant's pretty strong, right? He's a 5-4. Uh, because he's got a plus one from Grumgully. And fires an invention. It lands, and she's like, oh no, I don't think so. Very quick exile uh, to the fires of invention, because that would have let me unleash all those black cards in my hand. I did have a few instants I could have got off in response to this but none that I really cared to use at this time. Um, I do come in for eight. Uh, she got the cat, I think that's it. She's got to decide what's more valuable to her, uh, health or commander damage prevention. Uh, so I believe she blocked the giant there. <clears throat> or may or was the commander, because I didn't see her move for commander damage. I don't know. Um, oh, she hit her second swamp, so she's in business. Rankle's in play, and that haste goes a long way. People, you know, don't give that enough credit. Coming in with just Rankle, that's three damage and three commander. Uh, she's deciding which of th his three he's going to use. She's going to use. Uh, looks like she's having me discard. Unless I'm just checking it out. Yeah. Decide which discard. I'm not sure if she chose a second and third yet. We'll find out real shortly. Uh, what she discards in black? I can't tell what that card is. When I discarded, uh, I don't think that card is either. But it's, it's used a uh, disenchant or exile one card from a graveyard. So I was thinking I might need that at some point. Maybe she is playing one of those uh, strong enchantments uh, with the, the white big one or the black big one. And she just get a creature down her graveyard or. Uh, buffle our creatures, so it's good to have a disenchant in these decks, you know. Oh, for stuff like this, great hinge. Look at that, so strong. Coming in for a big swing. Uh, 
Ooh, she's striking. She's blocking and striking at my commander. So he's going to die. He's got one chain counter on now. So he's going to cost two more next time. Uh, and I think I landed then with my giant for five. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just reading that card. It's actually really good. It's like cheap and it, it hurts. It really hurts. It's a good white card. Um, so, yeah. Strong round for me, though. You know, I, I took that thing off the field. Not that that thing mattered. But I landed that Great Hinge, and that's going to go far. Hopefully. And she has another Exile or Disenchant. And she's playing uh, some kind of Archon here. It's... I have to pay one for each creature that attacks. And I think it's a 3-2 Flyer. Coming in for Rankle, and all her, you know, Flyers are just swinging right on in. I've got nothing in the air. Um, all just ground monsters in this whole deck. And it's not something I really thought about when I built it. Not like I had the option anyway. If there were flyers, I would have thrown them in. Uh, I just did the best I could with what I got. She was bragging. She was like, I got all the good cards. <laughs> you know, you suck it over in boxes. Um, so here I finally hit my first swamp. And I'm not even using it. Is that what's happening here? No, I'm getting Rumgully back out. Uh, because now I've got value. You know, if I can land a creature, it's getting plus two, plus two if it's non-human. And I'm drawing a card. And that is, that is strong. Uh, tap in that. I th am I just doing it for life or am I casting something? Uh, is that Witch's Broom? Okay. So it's a counter from each thing and I draw a card. That is value. That's what I'm talking about. And uh, its secondary ability is super strong against Rankle. So I'm pretty set right now. You know, I don't know what her deck's capable of. I don't know if she's got her hand. But I'm feeling good about my board state. And we're on to her. <laughs> Let's see. What we got, Lady Melody? And her mana is balanced out nicely now. Assuming there's not a third color in there. Which I don't think there is. Ooh, Lock Wayne. Um, That card is so strong. Uh, and she's going right into it. Paying the three life for a card. Okay. It's... You know, three life's a lot, but if you have an empty hand, I got no problem painting some mana and a card to get that extra card out of there. You know, even if you have one or yeah, even two cards to hand and you draw another third, you know, if it, it goes a long way, it really does. Draw power strong. You know, it's great henge. I, I know how good draw power is. I'm all about it. And with Grum Gully, I'm trying to make monsters here. Monsters. Um. I think she just connected with Rankle again, so we're discarding. Yeah. Uh, she discards a plane. She discard that Shade. That, uh, it goes on an adventure and has you discard two. And then uh, it gets flying if your opponent has one or, one or zero cards in hand. And it's pretty strong. I forget what it's powerful, but it's strong. Uh, this Meat Skewer thing. Giant Skewer, I think it's called, or something like that. Great card. I run it heavily in uh, Arena. Whenever the creature is blocked or deals damage to a, another creature or something like that, um, you get a food token. And you get a plus two plus one, unholy strength. So, coming in hard. Uh, that giant alone is hitting for uh, four, five, six, seven. Oh, flash the knight into play. Gets Gives itself death, touch, and lifelink. Uh, so that's going to be the end of my giant, I guess. Yeah, giant's dead. And I'm getting my food token. Beautiful. Turn that knight into a, a roast. So, I'm ready to roll now. I've got something I can sack so I can make more brooms. Um, I can equip that skewer to the brooms and I can just keep on making things. Uh, and as long as I'm pumping out brooms, I got something to sack the rankle also. So, it's going to be mana uh, costly, but it'll be worth it, you know, just to stay in the game. I mean, I say stay in the game, but I'm on top of it. Uh, she's down to 12 life. I mean, I'm at 29, it looks like. I've got six commander damage on me still. Uh, looks like she has nine on her. Uh, she plays this witch who comes in and makes a food token, and she can sacrifice a food to drain, uh, drain, deal. A target player loses three life. Uh, and I'm not sure how much food creation she has in her deck. Oh, okay, it's that two-man incinerate thing. Uh, take Rankle out of the sky. 
That's okay. She's got enough mana to pump him back out again. But it saves me that headache because I don't have the mana to do my whole sack a creature, get a broom thing right now. Not that I have a creature to sack anyway, unless it's Scrum Gully uh, to get that first broom going. So I need, I need to make something happen. I cast the same witch she has out now. So I get my food token. Uh, she comes in one stronger. She's not getting Grumgully's bonus. She's stronger because of the uh, the Great Henge. I draw my card. Equip uh, the Skewer to the boss man. So I can come in strong with him. Uh, he's a 3-3 base with a plus 1 plus 1 from that Henge. So it's 4 at 6 coming in. 6 commander. So that'll put her at 15 uh, commander if she t eats this. And she's not. She's blocking with her witch. Uh... Which is great. I got my food token out of that. And a little more board presence than she has. So my board is really stacking up now. I've got lots to sack. Uh, I get life out of that. I'll get brooms out of that. The brooms will get plus two, plus two. And I'll get a card. I believe the Henge lets me draw. Um, without having to play the card. I just want to enter the battlefield. So it's strong. In a good spot. Uh, she taps out heavily to get Rankle out and all that glitters, giving her a plus two, plus two right now for the food and all that glitters itself. And that's coming in for five Commander in the air, which I still can't do anything about. So uh, I'm hurting now. I, I think I'm at 16 life and 11 Commander. So two more swings and I'm done. Let's see what happens. And this Archon is really slowing me down because i got to pay for each creature that I attack with. <clears throat> um, discard for Rankle. Uh, that's the pay to life draw 2. And if you can't use all black mana for it, uh, you get some kind of bonus out of it. And on to me. Okay. Tapping the Great Henge. Gain my 2 life. Bake into a pie. Okay, I had an answer for Rankle. That is great. Great for me. Um, okay, so that gives me a food token and destroy star creature. So Rankle now has two chain counters. The all that glitters is in the trash bin. And uh, I'm doing okay. I'll give her a food token. Is that what I did? I may have given myself extra food token here by accident. Uh, I don't think it came into play. Okay. Uh, and I smashed her down to, up to 15 um, commander damage and 6 health now. So Grungle is hitting for 6, so either way, uh, as long as he makes it through, uh, this will be a victory for me. Of course, she still has the Archon to block with. But uh, let's see what happens. Tapping heavily for uh, this Knight. Oh, he's a good one. Whenever Preacher enters the graveyard, uh, deal damage, drain of life, something like that. Um, but yeah, he's a strong one. And you could uh, pay two to have each player mill one. Um, okay, I sacked the thing to make her lose three life. Sack the food. Uh, and I pay the mana to copy the broom. And I'm drawing the card off that second broom entering the battlefield. It's getting plus two counters on it. So it is a, what is it, I think it's a two one base. So it's a four three broom. Uh, that is value, ladies and gentlemen. That is value. Let's see what I can do here. Ooh, okay. XL target creature, uh, either power three or greater or mana cost three or greater. Okay. And I got my gingerbread man out. He comes in with two counters, gets me a card. So he's a three three now. And Captain Great Hand, gain two life. Beanstalk something. I think it's another plus two or three. So it's three, four, five, six. Oh, so that's six right there. And pay one, make them unblockable, along with the commander coming in, and also the brooms. So, no matter how you stack it, that is far too much damage to deal with with one black mana open. That is going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, tune in next time. Remember to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. What do you think of this type of video? When we keep doing stuff like this, um, are you hardcore old school? And you're like, hey, what are you doing off, off tempo here? Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. And I'll catch you next time. This is Baron Nick. I'm done here.